Today I will show you the difference between vibrance and saturation. So make some popcorns. <sighs> Sit back, relax and enjoy. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. Sorry about the popcorns, they are really delicious. So let's see what is the difference between vibrance and saturation. Saturation is basically intensity of a color. So if the color is more intense, it will consider to be more pure color. So red will be more red, green will be more green and so on. So if you are increasing that saturation slider, you will make the color more pure. In real life, saturation depends of the light, actually the wavelengths of the light source that it's coming to an object and so on and so on. But vibrance, what is vibrance? Vibrance is something that I think Adobe came up with it. So vibrance will still boost the saturation, but in a little bit different manner. Vibrance is a really great tool it will preserve the skin tone, so skin tone will not be oversaturated and vibrance will first uh, boost the saturation of uh, muted tones, of muted colors, so the colors that are less saturated and after that will boost other colors too. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, here in Photoshop I have a really nice example for you to understand the difference between vibrance and saturation. Here I have some kind of a graph and this arrow represents the saturation or here down below the saturation is really low value all the way up saturation it's maximum value all right and now if i move those colors all the way up you will see that they will become more and more and more saturated until they reach its maximum value and now the colors are pure the intensity of the colors in increased and the colors are more pure the red is more red yellow is more yellow and so on and so on Right, let's move this all the way down. All right, and now I will show you the difference between vibrance and saturation. As you know, in every image, we have differently saturated tones. So uh, red can be less saturated than blues, but more saturated than yellows and so on and so on. So re let's replicate this right here. Let's make blues more saturated, reds a little bit more, yellows even more. Actually, let's just randomly position all those tones across this saturation graph, something like this, so that we will have something like a real life example, because all the tones on the image will have different saturation value. And now if you want to boost the saturation on the image by increasing the saturation slider, you will move all the tones in the same time towards their maximum value. So saturation slider will increase the saturation of all the tones in the image simultaneously. So something like this. Let's select them all. And if we now increase the saturation slider, we will move we will move all the tones in the same time up until they all reach their maximum value. Vibrance, on the other hand, is a little bit more clever tool. It will go first and saturate the most muted tones, the less saturated colors, and then it will try to equalize the saturation in the image and saturate everything together. With that difference that it will try to preserve the skin tones. Skin tones will still be saturated, but not as much as other tones in the image. So let me show you that. So Vibrance will go first and pick up the most muted tone and boost uh, the saturation of it and then pick up the next one, next one and next one until it reach to skin tones. For example, this yellow is a skin tone. Then depends of the skin tone threshold of the current uh, saturation of that skin tone, it will boost it or not. So for example, it will pick up the skin tone too, all right, and it will boost it a little bit, then it will leave it here, pick up the rest tones right here, and then it will boost everything together. So the skin tone will be less saturated, more preserved. Right now, let me show you that on a real example. All right, guys, let's use this image as an example. So as you can see, the tones of this image, the colors are not so saturated, and we want to make the colors more intense to make this image look a little bit better. So we can do that by using a saturation slider. There are two saturation sliders in Photoshop. The older one, which is here in Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer, and this will boost saturation really, really high. It will boost the colors a lot, and we don't want to use that. You can use, still of course, you can use this saturation slider, but be careful, use 
lower values like this. And another one that we are talking about today is the vibrance saturation slider. So this saturation slider here is less intense all the way to 100%. It will not boost color so much, but as you can see here, it will boost all colors in the same time. So the skin tones will not be preserved. The skin, skin tones in this case are too intense. And we can deal with that by mm, painting the mask with uh, black color and remove the saturation of the skin tones. But we don't need to do that because we have a vibrance slider. So let's zero out this. And now if we are uh, using vibrance slider, you will see that everything will start to become more saturated except the skin tones. They will be just slightly saturated then at the beginning because they are preserved by this vibrous slider. And vibrous slider will first start to saturate the most muted tones like this wall here and some low saturated uh, tones like on this brush and so on and so on. And then it will start to saturate everything together. So as you can see before and after, before and after much much better than using a saturation slider that will go and boost everything. But now if you want to equalize the tones in the image, you can do combination of saturation and vibrance. So let me show you that on another example. Right guys, if you want to equalize the saturation of all tones in the image for one reason or another, you can do that by using combination of vibrance and saturation slider. And as you can see here, the greens are more saturated tones. Uh, the coat is a less saturated tone. It has some bluish tint in it, but really low saturation. And this hair, it's hair and the lips are again a little bit more saturated and if you want to equalize that a little bit you can do that like this. Let's use vibrance adjustment layer and if you remember for a previous example vibrance will try to equalize the tones in saturation manner and saturation slider will boost all tones in the same time. It will move all tones up or down in the same time. So let's first equalize the tones. Let's saturate the less saturated tones by bo boosting the vibrance like this and image is really saturated but now we can move all tones down to decrease the saturation by moving the saturation slider a little bit like this and as you can see before and after greens stays the same in the saturation manner but now the code that was um, least saturated uh, tone in the image it has more color in it so uh, as you can see here the hair it was more saturated now it's less saturated so now the tones on the image are more equally in saturation values so this is one way how you can do it there is another trick in using combination of vibrance and saturation sliders and that's the opposite than we did in the previous example so you need to decrease vibrance and to increase saturation and it will have a little bit different impact on some images so let me show you that all right let's create a vibrance adjustment layer and let's decrease the vibrance value and if we move vibrance all the way down your image will not be completely black and white because vibrance cannot make your image completely black and white saturation decreasing the saturation you can make your image completely black and white but vibrance cannot do that so if you decrease the vibrance and increase the saturation you will have slightly different effects. So let me show you before and after, before and after. Really, really nice effect. And on some images, you can really achieve a lot by uh, using a combination of vibrance and saturation. All right, guys, that's it for today. I really hope that you understand the difference between vibrance and saturation, how to use them separately and how to use them in combination with each other to create a desired effect. Practice, experiment, have fun, and you can achieve really great results with those sliders. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. If you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do it by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And of course, you will get some things in return. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that bell to get notified about all future episodes. And see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.